Hey guys, welcome back to MB's Hamsters and today I'm going to be talking about the five domesticated species of hamster. So let's start off with the Syrian hamster. Syrian hamsters are the largest domesticated species of hamster and they are the most popular. A lot of people, if they have owned hamsters before, have owned Syrian hamsters because they are very popular and a lot of people have owned them. Syrian hamsters uh, are not the fastest. They tend to be the slowest of the uh, domesticated species of hamster, but they can still be fast. They are pretty, they are still fast, but they are the slowest out of the five generally. They tend to be a little bit more cuddly and less energetic than the other uh, species of hamster. They are still very energetic, don't get me wrong, but um, they are. They tend to be a little bit more cuddly. Of course, each hamster has a different personality, so if your hamster, if your Syrian hamster doesn't like to cuddle, then that is just your hamster, but generally they are a little bit more cuddly than other hamsters. Um, a Syrian hamster can live one and a half to two years. Sometimes they can make it past two years, but that's very rare. But Syrian hamsters do need larger toys because they are larger hamsters. Their wheel needs to be at least um, eight to 12 inches. If you can get a bigger wheel than that, that's great. Um, but um, they do need bigger toys. They need bigger bendy bridges, bigger houses bigger sand baths, they just need all the bigger stuff. So if you're thinking of getting a Syrian hamster, just keep in mind that their toys are larger than most hamsters and um, yeah. With Syrian hamsters, the female hamsters tend to be a little bit larger than the male hamsters. Um, just, I, I don't know. They, they tend, the female hamsters tend to be a little bit larger than the male Syrian hamsters. So uh, just keep that in mind. If you're getting a female Syrian, they may be a little bit larger than a male, but both are the biggest species of hamster. Next, we are going to be talking about the Chinese hamster. And thank you to Brutus the Chinese hamster on Instagram for giving me a couple of facts because I have never owned a Chinese hamster. I've never seen one in person um, just because they don't, they're not really where I live. So um, yeah, let's see, curl. Yeah, <laughs> but um, a thank you to Brutus the Chinese hamster. So Chinese hamsters are the second largest of the species of hamster. So they do need an, at least an eight inch wheel or bigger. They have a slightly longer tail than uh, other species of hamster. Their tail is a little bit longer. They sometimes get confused for mice. They are not mice. They're better climbers than other species of hamster. They will never compare to a rat or a mouse, but they are a little bit um, more balanced than some other hamsters. Chinese hamsters also can not be found in a couple of states. So if you live in a place and there's no Chinese hamsters, that's not uncommon. Chinese hamsters are one of the most uncommon hamsters to find, but you can still find them. They are, they, they are still domesticated. It's just a little bit harder to find them. Chinese hamsters are, they tend to be a little bit more calm and gentle and they're not as energetic as, say, a Roborowski, which I will get to in a minute. Um, they're not as energetic as a Roborowski. They are a little bit um, more timid and careful and shy. Chinese hamsters, they can have higher toys than some other hamsters because of their better balance but uh, not too high because again, they, are, they don't compare to a rat or a mouse. They are still a hamster. They are slightly more longer than uh, the other species of hamster. They are less uh, chubby and more long, so. <laughs> Sorry about the, uh, the time change. Uh, 
I'm doing the rest of this video on a different time of the day, so yeah. The, uh, the next hamster species I'm going to be talking about is the winter white and the Russian Campbells. These hamsters, they are two different species, but they can actually be interbreeded to make the hybrid hamster. So, and they are very similar, so I am just going to be talking about them together. So, um, the hybrid hamster is uh, one of the smallest hamsters. Um, they aren't as small as a Roborowski, but they are definitely smaller than, the, than a Chinese or a Syrian. Um, they are a little more energetic than a Chinese or a Syrian. Um, they are a, a little bit faster. They are not a Roborowski, but they are definitely a little bit faster. They are a good blend of cuddly and uh, energetic. They, um, they can be either. So a hybrid hamster can um, be, they, their personalities are definitely very, um, it, they can be cuddly, they can be energetic. It really depends on your hamster. And this works for all species, but especially hybrid hamsters because they are a mix of cuddly and energetic. So um, they all have very, very unique personalities. The hybrid hamster comes in many more patterns, while Syrian hamsters come in more colors. Um, they come in a lot more patterns and uh, different shapes and sizes while well, Syrians come in more colors instead of patterns. Um, the hybrid hamster is a little bit more prone to diabetes than a lot of the other hamster species. Um, and this is just due to their small size and um, their, their lack to process sugar easily. Of course, you shouldn't be feeding sugar to uh, your any of your hamsters, but especially, uh, like don't feed a lot of sugar. Um, but especially uh, to hybrid hamsters, uh, diabetes is very common with them. They can have a six six inch wheel or bigger, and um, I I personally recommend an eight inch wheel for a hybrid um, dwarf hamster, but a six inch works good as well. That is the minimum. I also want to point out that every single hamster needs 450 square inches of floor space. Some people believe that the smaller the hamster is, the less space they need, which is not true because uh, the, the small hamsters also need, they, all, they have a lot of energy. They need a lot, like a bigger cage. And Syrians um, have bigger toys and they also have quite a bit of energy. So um, please keep that in mind. No matter how big or small your hamster is, uh, they have to have 450 square inches as the bare minimum for their cage. So a hybrid can, if you get a purebred winter white, they actually can change color in the winter, which is really cool. But um, sadly, the, the it is very very difficult to find a purebred winter white hamster and it's also very difficult to find a purebred um russian campbell's hamster so most likely you have a hybrid if it looks like either one um so yeah that is the hybrid hamster the next species is a roborowski dwarf hamster and i own one i own a roborowski dwarf as well as a syrian so I have a little bit more experience with Roborowskis. Um, Roborowskis are the smallest species of hamster. They um, are about the size of a walnut, maybe a little bit bigger, but they are very, they are very tiny. They are also the fastest species of hamster. So um, if you're thinking of getting a Robo, just keep in mind that they are very energetic. They are a lot more energetic than uh, other species of hamster. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking of getting a Roborowski. Roborowskis do come from a desert area, so they need at least one third of their cage covered in sand, or they need a very big sand bath. 
Um, of course, all hamsters need sand baths, but it is definitely very mandatory for a Roborowski. Uh, Roborowskis are the smallest species of hamster, so they can very easily fit into a 6-inch wheel. I use an 8-inch wheel for my Roborowski, but um, it's okay to use a 6-inch wheel as well. Um, I know they make these tiny 4-inch wheels, and that's not big for any animal at all. Not even a mouse. These 4-inch wheels are, like, tiny. So please do not use 4-inch. It is 6 inches the minimum for even something as small as a Roborowski. Um, Roborowskis tend to be the hardest to tame out of the species because they were domesticated a lot later than Syrian hamsters. So I don't blame them for being a little bit more scared. Um, and because of their speed, it is very hard to tame, to have a perfectly tamed Roborowski. Of course, you can get a very cuddly Roborowski. It's just a little bit less common than a cuddly Syrian hamster. Um, so yeah, Roborowski is, um, they're, they're the smallest and the fastest and the hardest to tame. Roborowskis, since they are the smallest species of hamster, you can get them smaller toys. Uh, they don't need like they don't need Syrian sized toys because they are very small. So they de it depends on where you live, but their toys could can be a bit cheaper just because of uh, you can get them in the smallest size and they'll still fit. Um, so yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope if you are thinking of getting a new hamster that this helped and I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.